Today we're going to check on the peony seeds we gathered from last fall. But first, let's do a recap. So we waited till the fall, about September 25th, right around in there. And I picked all the peony seeds as the pod split open. We didn't harvest any peony seeds that they had not already split open. So once they split open, I gathered all the seeds. We threw them in a quart jar. The ones that flooded, we threw away. So all the seeds we had should have been viable. Then I put them in a Ziploc bag, about 20 or 30 to a bag, and I waited for them to root out. I also put a piece of paper towel in there that was damp to give the plants the moisture that they would need. I hung those in my office. My office is heated, so it's about 50 degrees in here, 55. Once I had a small piece of root out, I took them out into my greenhouse and I planted them. I have had people ask me about the temperatures and as long as it was above freezing in the greenhouse, I was happy. So I didn't try to keep it at 50 degrees or anything else, as long as I was above freezing. The seeds seem to start at different times. Remember, these are an open pollinated seeds from a variety of peonies. So we're going to start by looking at the seeds in the office. Then we're going to go out to the pit greenhouse where some seeds are starting to show. And I'll show you my successes and some areas I need to work on. So here we are from 925 to February 26th. I've planted about 200. I've sold about 100 and I'm bound to my last ones. I have two people coming. These are a little farther behind. They took a little longer to start. So I have two people coming and then I will put the rest out on the ground as soon as I can and we'll see what comes up after that. So now we're going to go into the greenhouse and look and see how the other ones are doing. So now there's two peonies in each one of these holes, these square blocks, and then there's one peony in each one of these. And you can see a peony here. And you can see where they're stressing out. They don't have enough soil. So the next time I go to town, I'm going to gather some more soil and I'll transplant these back here into bigger pots. Or I'll put them into rain gutters. And here's a rain gutter and you can see the peony coming up there. There's a couple of them through here and they're starting to break ground. And that always makes me happy. If I remember right, I think I did 20 in each, so there's 40. There's about 200 peonies in this particular group of peonies. Should be enough to keep me out of trouble, maybe. But that's our peony update. 